Hi, welcome to the video. I'm going to show you how you can create your own LODs or levels of detail for your 3D models to be used inside of Unity. So over into Blender, I've actually just imported that wheel FBX, which is just a simple case of file, import and FBX. OK, um, I've got my key presses down the right if you want to see what I'm doing. So it's a right click. It'll show you what I'm pressing. OK, so um, I've got the wheel model and if I change over to wireframe mode, you'll actually see that it's very, very dense. OK, it's got a lot of triangles. This is useful when you're really close to the model. You want it to be really high quality. But as you get away, as you get further away, you just don't need that level of uh, density. You can actually reduce the quality. And that's what LODs are used for to actually mean uh, it means that you can place more objects in your scene uh, without overloading your computer. OK, so um, when we've got our highest resolution version, we want to rename this as wheel LOD zero. OK, that's the highest level. I can then right click on this, choose copy, right click and paste data blocks. Double click on this and call it LOD1, which is one level down. So if I just switch off my LOD0, with this one selected, I can come down to my modifiers, which is my this kind of like little spanner icon, uh, add a modifier, and we want to choose Decimate. And we get three different versions of Decimate. Uh, collapse is a really, really good one. So as I click and drag, you'll actually see that it starts to reduce those levels of polygons. If I go into wireframe mode now, we can see that before and after. Take a look at how it's actually reduced that level of quality, which is really great. You can go really, really low. All right, so in fact, down there, I've got a face count of just 172. Now, obviously, you don't want to be very close to that, but if you're really, really, really far away, that's actually going to look pretty good. Um, so I would recommend for an LOD one, going somewhere like about uh, maybe about a 300, 0 0.3, something like this might be good. So now I've got a face count of 850. I started out with a face count of 2640. So that's pretty good. OK, and as you can see, it actually still looks relatively good. So from a distance, that's going to look effective. So uh, that's our LOD one. Now you will notice that you get different versions for this. So you get collapse, unsubdivide or planar. Unsubdivide on this, I don't think it's going to do much. Yeah, it's not really going to do much. It only works on certain models. Planar kind of uses the angle limits. You can also delimit that as well. So if I click and drag on the angle limits, you can see it's starting to reduce the polygons based on the angles that they are away from other polygons. It kind of looks weird though, the end result. There are certain pieces of geometry that work better with planar, certain ones that work better with collapse. Okay, and this is definitely one that works better with collapse. Uh, so we've got our wheel, LOD1. Okay, once again, we can just copy this, right click, copy, right click, paste data blocks, and let's create another one and call this LOD2. OK, so this is the lowest level of detail. So once again, we just click on this and we're going to collapse this one down to maybe about here. So face count of now just 260. And this one's meant to be viewed from a, an extreme distance. And as we can see, it's very, very low res. OK, excellent. So now we've got our LODs. Um, we can switch all of these on. Just make sure that once we're happy with the decimation that we actually apply that. So that's just clicking on this little drop down and choosing apply. And that's now set as actual geometry. Same on the wheel LOD2. Just right, uh, just click on the drop down and choose apply. And that's now a full um, LOD piece of geometry. So once we're happy, we can then do file, export, FBX, and I'll export this back onto the desktop and I'll call this uh, wheel LOD, something like that. Export the FBX. Uh, we only really need the mesh. So let's just click on mesh and export that. OK. 
So there it is, there's my real LOD FBX. So now inside of Unity, I've just opened a basic scene. I've got some textures going on there. So if I drag my FBX into here now, we'll see that we've got those items and we've got our LOD 0, LOD 1 and LOD 2 all contained within this uh, item. So I'm going to drag this into the big wheel. So that means that I can now create myself some prefabs. So if I drag my wheel LOD into my hierarchy, just double click on this. It's transparent at the moment, so I've got some textures. Let me right click, create material, wheel mat. Drag the albedo into there. I've got metallic in there and a normal in there. And then for my wheel LOD, for each of the LODs, and then the materials, let me just drag the wheel mat. There we go, that's better. All right, uh, so as part of this, it's already prefabbed, so I'm gonna right click, choose prefab and unpack completely. So now we can actually use these LODs um, by using the LOD component. So if we go to component, Fact, I'm not sure where that is. So I'll click add component and I'll just type LOD and there we go, LOD group, wherever that's coming from. Uh, and this sets up your LOD group. Okay, as you can see, you've got an LOD 0, 1 and 2. So as part of our LOD 0, we're going to click plus on our renderers, drag in our wheel LOD 0 into there. As part of our LOD 1, we're going to click plus, drag in our wheel LOD 1. And then as part of our LOD 2, click plus, dragging our wheel LOD2. And what we can see, we've got 260 triangles, 798 triangles, 2640 triangles. Okay. Okay. Um, this is all fine. So what we can see now is that we've got our LOD 0, 1, 2, and then cold. Cold basically means that it, it disappears from the world. So as I drag my camera, it's going to show me the differences between these. Notice it changes from LOD 0 to 1 and then to its lowest resolution there and then cold means it's invisible. All right, it's all based on how far away your main camera is from these objects. So let's say that we still want it to be high resolution even if we're this far away. So let's just click and drag these items around. So let's say we want it to be high resolution all the way up to there and then it drops down to low resolution. You can drag our cold way down here. You can maybe have it as LOD1 and then when we're this far away, it's now LOD2. So as you can see, that actually looks pretty good because it's really far away. Uh, maybe I can get away with about there. Okay, so um, in my scene, as I get close, it still looks really, really good quality when I'm close. But as I'm going away, notice it just kind of changes in resolution. Let's take a look at that in wireframe mode. You can barely even notice the difference, but yeah, it is having a really big impact. So um, now that the wheel LOD is set up, you can even change the fade modes. So for example, if you wanted some sort of a crossfade uh, between these LODs in order to make it much more fluid so that they don't, um, you know, like uh, so it's, it's not like a flash, you know, it doesn't do it dramatically. It, it actually crossfades between them and, and makes it much more fluid. You can do that as well. Uh, you can even recalculate your light map scale if you want them to be part of a, a light map bake. Okay, so once we're happy with that, once we've got it working, then we can take our wheel, LOD, drag it into here, and now we've got ourselves a prefab. We can drag lots and lots of these into the world, and it should all be good.